Hey there, gang. Patrick King here, coming from, uh, coming to you from Utica, New York. Today's question comes to us from Caitlin. Caitlin asks, how does controlling the hindquarters address a horse's lack of respect for the handler or the rider? So, um, that's an awesome question. Um, we see people all the time talking about moving uh, the horse's feet as a way to gain respect for them and control. So, uh, you know, why does that work? How does that work? Uh, what we want to think about is the horse as a, a basic animal, as a species, um, is a prey animal or a flight animal. So their primary defense mechanism is flight. If you can control the feet then, uh, you can basically control the horse. Uh, the hind feet are the motor. If you can move the feet, you can move the mind. If you watch horses playing, interacting with each other, um, you watch the foals even playing their games, running around uh, up through older horses, playing their games with each other, even fighting with each other, whether it's real or whether it's their made up play, the horses who can control the movement of the other horses are the ones basically that win those games or those battles. So you'll see uh, horses driving each other away, say from the stock tank or from uh, you know a patch of grass or something like that. The horses that uh, are able to uh, gain the respect and control typically are those horses that are able to move the feet of the other horses. So when we're talking about a horse that is lacking of respect or the handler or rider that are lacking in control, the, uh, the solution to this, the way that we develop the control and the respect is by moving the horse's feet. And again, with the hind feet being the motor and the primary steering uh, and balance mechanism of the horse, uh, the hind feet specifically are the best way to get control of the horse's mind and body, basically. So um, the easiest way to remember it, if you can move the feet, you can move the mind, generally speaking. So hope that that was helpful uh, to some of you. Hope that uh, helps you to understand better how we gain control uh, and respect from the horse. Uh, if, if that was helpful, please share it with some friends. Uh, also, question of the day for you. Speaking of horses playing games, uh, horses have all sorts of games and antics that they seem to like to play with each other uh, and even amongst themselves. What's your horse's favorite game or antic? Share that with us in the comments below. I'd love to read uh, about some of the things that your horses are doing. And don't forget, gang, send us a message with your questions. You keep asking questions. I'll keep giving you answers. Thanks so much, gang.